The North Bay clan of the Lower Creek Muscogee Tribe spent the weekend honoring our nation's heroes through their annual Veterans Day weekend powwow. One thing about being a veteran, we, we don't ask for much, you know, just that we serve and protect our people. It's pretty much very, it's always been very close to my heart. I come from a military family. Um, this pretty much, you might as well say, is a military tribe. A lot of our functionaries here are veterans themselves, which was one of the biggest things for me coming here was it was like coming home to people that understood what you went through. One of those veteran tribe members is Carl Bush, and he's commemorating our veterans both symbolically and spiritually. Warriors are always front and center in any Native American culture. Okay, the warriors are the guys that keep you keep the keep the village free. They're, they're, they're the ones that provide the food. They're the ones that go out and fight the battles. They're the ones that make sure that you have a safe place to sleep at night. What do our soldiers do? What do our veterans do? They fight to keep our nation free and clear where you can go to bed and sleep at night. And by veterans, he means all of those fighting battles overseas or right here at home. We consider uh, first responders as veterans too. Fire department, they fight battles every day for us. Police department, they fight battles every day for us. Uh, the EMS guys, they fight battles for us every day. They're protecting our, our lives and our health. They're also veterans. They're also considered warriors in our, in our way of looking at things. And we honor them just as much as we honor our military veterans. During the ceremonies, tribes devote special dances to fallen vets. Young William Truax is a local grass dancer. They're honoring every single veteran, Marine Corps, Navy. I am very glad about it. It, it gives me happiness. Like, I get a dance for every, every single soldier that's fallen. And I'm just very happy that, about the ones that have fallen. They served a good life. They fought for our freedom. This Veterans Day weekend, they're also honoring the tribe's recently fallen vice chief, Alfred Marsh. Brother Marsh uh, was an Army veteran, Korean War veteran. And he was also a, a Mason, and he was also just an outstanding man in the community. Uh, he was the vice chief here for several years. Deldrick Ford was recently elected as the tribe's new vice chief. It's more likely he's gone but never forgotten type thing. Um, it's been a great honor to actually set this event up just to, you know, as his successor. It's been a great ordeal for me, a lot of pressure, much needed pressure, a lot of learning from the chief and picking up where he left off. In Washington County, Amber Spradley, News 13, Panhandle Strong.